from uh, Ferrara. Robert Ferrara. Goal, what a finish. Fantastic finish. So the Swindon Wildcats do the defensive duties and then break a lovely pass and the, the shot lifted. Let's just have a look on that replay. So, so that's Bebris, he's looking for uh, Aaron Nell, I think it was. Nell with the precision shot. What a beauty, top right hand corner, lifts the water bottle. One goal to nil, Aaron Nell with a goal for the Cats. Yeah, you can see the two Phantoms Dean men, they were looking at Max Bebro, who's skating on the far side. They were watching for the movement, waiting for the pass across the ice and missed. Nell just ghosting in through the centre. Sisters is on the ice, Stepanek's on the ice, McEwen's on the ice. Through the centre to Stepanek, he's got Sisters on the far side, Sisters deeks. Sisters head trying to get in. Immediately the Wildcats are unhappy. Two, three Wildcats bouncing on Sisters after he collided with, Jort, with Rennie Marr. I don't think there was any malice in that collision, but uh, Diana Cuglietta there looking to calm things down quickly. So here we go, we see Sisters comes in, tries to deke one side, deke one the other, loses it, looks down at the wrong time and just goes straight over Jordan Marr. Rennie Marr. Rennie Marr. And Bebris using his strength. James Ferrara getting backed into the boards from Nell. Ferrara and Nell battling. Nell takes Ferrara down and still takes him down. That's got to be a penalty. And James Ferrara is down on the ice. And Aaron Nell, well, you've seen it on the video footage from my money. That's completely out of order. Aaron Nell, he's the coach and he's hitting a man while he's down on the ice already, Dan. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be two each roughing, despite James being down the ice. We're just looking at the footage there. Goes down. No, the camera moves away. So it'll be interesting to see what the call's going to be. Got cross-checking and we got holding. That actually makes some sense. So there, you see, Nell's gone down. It looks like I can understand where the referee's got the, got the idea of the holding. And uh, the, the point, whilst oh so important for both teams, are they more important for the Wildcats? Out to the blue line, Norton. I thought he was going to go for the shot there, but no lane. Tight defence. The uh, defensive formation collapsing round Rennie Mark. Goal! What a finish that is! The postage stamp betwixt post and bar, lifted by Padalek. We're all looking to the centre. Wow. Bar down. Yeah, we just sit here. James Ferrara fires a puck across the crease. Everyone was looking at Norton. I think he was going to go for it. They looked at Padalek thinking he was going to pass it back across centre. It's Norton or Ferrara, as we've done before, but instead goes for the shot. Top right hand corner. Puck cleared and a break from, uh, from Floyd Taylor, number 12. Great little deke. Goal! What a finish that is! Lovely hockey, uh, Taylor into the zone, over the hash marks, little move and uh, rips one past Jordan Marr, down low, glove side. So the Swindon Wildcats respond well to having conceded the goal, they take the lead. We've had less than three minutes of the second period, the Phantoms trail by one, it's Wildcats two, Peterborough Phantoms one. I was just looking down and seeing four Swin and red shirt, but it was number 18, Taylor, who was marshalling the blue line at that point. Here's Beer Brayer. Phantoms take the blue line, sorry, Swin to take the blue line. And uh, Wildcats, as yet, don't want to tempt fate, but they haven't got really set up, but close in. Goal! Lovely finish. So, Taylor in uh, space there, Loris Taylor. Picks it up in the slot, uh, no one really too close to him, whips it in, and that's a fantastic power play goal for the Swindon Wildcats. That's not a shooting, that's not a shooting angle, but as the saying goes, you don't stop and wait for the perfect shot, you take the shot and you make it perfect. So, breaks out of the Wildcats zone. Brad Baring had it, but now it's uh, Wildcats 18 with the shot goes loose. 
again, it was the rebound control that was the issue there. We'll just see the replay quickly of this one. But yeah, so shot comes in, it's off the pads. Ma thought he had it and stopped. Wildcats carried on, they saw the puck come loose and shot it in. So yeah, number 18, Loris Taylor, I think that's his second of the night. So Wildcats now leading 4-1, three minutes 18 in the second period to go. Little deke, nothing given. Heart in mouth time as the Phantoms look. Picked up on the on the blue line by Martin Susters, whips one, he goes behind the goal. goal! 49 seconds left, Susters fires the puck, it comes back off the boards, here's the replay, Martin Susters shoots to the uh, left of the goal, Stepanek with the rebound, one-timer into the goal, and the Phantoms in the blink of an eye reduce the deficit, 4-2 with uh, Stepanek with the goal, Phantoms 2, Swindon Wildcats 4, 49 seconds of the period left to go. All right. So, uh, end of the period, uh, well we're in a second and a, a, a little bit of it. Uh, oh! Wow! Ma denies James Ferrara Eleven twenty-five of the game remaining, and uh, Costal, that's a goal. Costal straight off the bench, rushes the blue line, hits it with a one-timer, bar down. Phantoms down by three, and uh, Dan, I think that's going to be a, a, a big help for the Phantoms to climb on the performance tonight. Swindon Wildcats deserve their lead. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not sure the Phantoms have got the Sherpas to get up this mountain. No, that was a great goal. I mean, first first off, we'd seen um, Beerbrayer trying to set up Nell on the far post. Mar got a stick to it, just knocked it loose. Uh, as Beerbrayer left the ice, Costal came on, straight to the slot, straight onto the puck, and it was barring down. In fact, it was a, a carbon copy of the Phantoms' first goal this evening. Chance there, but uh, Whitfield at it quickly. James Farrar, chance. And it's gone in. <laughs> well, that's going to be Will Weldon's goal, we think. But uh, 3.55 remaining. The Phantoms have narrowed the deficit. The shot comes in uh, from Padalek. It bounces. OK, so sorry. Just watching this goal. Here's a moment of comedy. Puck gets shot across. Padalek takes it, corrals it, takes the shot. It bounces out, up. Initially bounces off of Weldon's glove. Looked like it could have still gone in, but Weldon just got a last tap to be sure. And uh, Phantoms get a goal back, but uh, I mean, it's down to two goals. It's doable in three minutes, but tight is not the word for it. All about momentum now. I, I think that Phantoms will be buoyed by the goal. 